A new leak about the Galaxy S26 lineup has reignited one of the oldest debates among Samsung fans, the battle between Exynos and Snapdragon chips. It appears that Samsung may once again divide its flagship phones by region. Just like it did in the past, recent reports suggest that Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S26 series is only a few months away from launch. And this time, things might be a little different. The standard model in the series is rumored to be called the Galaxy S26 Pro instead of the usual vanilla model. Alongside it, there might also be a Galaxy S26 Edge variant, though it's still unclear whether it will replace the Plus model or exist as an additional one. As expected, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will remain the top-of-the-line powerhouse in the series. According to information discovered by Samobile, the Galaxy S26 Pro is expected to be powered by Samsung's in-house Exynos 2600 chip in most regions around the world. However, in markets like the United States and China, the same model will likely feature Qualcomm's latest flagship chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This confirms that Samsung is once again splitting its flagship phones by region, a move that always stirs mixed reactions. For years, users in Exynos regions have complained about weaker performance, less battery efficiency, and lower optimization compared to Snapdragon-powered variants. Reports also claim that the Galaxy S26 Plus will follow the same regional configuration. Although the existence of the Plus model itself isn't entirely confirmed, some sources suggest Samsung might replace it with the new Edge variant, making this year's lineup slightly different. Talking about the Exynos 2600, it's reportedly built on Samsung's 2 nanometer process, an upgrade aimed at improving both speed and power efficiency. This chip is said to feature a 10 core CPU using ARM's latest C1 series cores, paired with this clip's 950 GPU for graphics performance. If these details hold true, this would be Samsung's most advanced in-house processor yet. Interestingly, early reports claim that the Exynos 2600 could outperform Apple's A19 Pro chip found in the iPhone 17 series. There are even suggestions that it might rival or even beat the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in some benchmarks. If that's the case, this could mark a major comeback for Samsung's Exynos division, which has struggled in previous years. However, not everyone is convinced just yet. Samsung's history with regional chip splits has been controversial. Many users felt frustrated paying the same premium price for a device that didn't perform equally across regions. Snapdragon versions usually delivered better performance, longer battery life, and smoother thermals, while Exynos variants often lag behind if Samsung truly wants to win back consumer trust. The Exynos 2600 must prove itself through real-world performance. On paper, the specs sound impressive, but only proper testing will reveal if it can match Qualcomm's efficiency and sustained performance. Still, there's cautious optimism this time. Samsung's shift to a 2 nanometers process could bring significant improvements. The company has reportedly made major advancements in chip design, thermal management, and AI optimization. If successful, the Exynos 2600 could finally be the turning point that puts Samsung's in-house chips on par with Qualcomm's, regardless of the chip debate. Excitement around the Galaxy S26 launch is steadily building. The series is expected to arrive in early 2026, and rumors suggest Samsung might introduce a redesigned body with slimmer bezels and improved materials. The company is also said to be rethinking the lineup structure, possibly replacing the Plus model with the Edge version. Overall, the upcoming Galaxy S26 series is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most interesting launches in years. Between the new chip showdown, the rumored redesign, and potential AI enhancements in One UI 8.5, there's a lot to look forward to. Whether fans will trust Exynos again remains to be seen. But Samsung's confidence in the 2600 chip suggests the company believes it has finally closed the performance gap. If the Exynos 2600 truly delivers on its promises, the regional split might not be such a big issue anymore until official details are confirmed. The Exynos vs Snapdragon debate will continue to dominate discussions. But one thing is clear, the Galaxy S26 series is bringing back the excitement that had been missing in the smartphone market for a while.